Here we are guys, we're back in the shop and today we're gonna depopulate this telecom board. What makes it a telecom grade board? Well, it was made for telecommunications. Telephone, communication, telecom grade board. Now it's gonna have silver in those relays, it's gonna have copper in these guys right here, hopefully. It's gonna have a battery you're gonna need to get rid of. It's gonna be studded with gold pins all over the place, removable IC chips and EEPROM, and you're gonna have copper in these doodads. You're gonna have lightly flashed gold pins all up in these connectors. It's gonna come up to some more relays. You have some uh, mylar capacitors right here. You're gonna have some boxes for some more relays which I'm really interested in seeing what's inside of those they may have a little bit of gold who knows they're studded with uh, tantalum capacitors all over the place and there's still the secrets to be had on this board so let's crack it open and see how much gold is inside all right, as advertised, it's a telecom uh, grade board. It was uh, in a telephone switch in an office space, and uh, my buddy was goofing around with it and brought it to me, said, can I use it? I said, absolutely. So this is all going to have uh, lightly uh, flashed gold pins inside of all those connectors for any of you guys that remember telephones that plugged into the wall. Yep, besides for your cell phones, uh, they all have gold pins in them. Believe it or not, they do. Everybody thought they were brass, but no, they're gold. And these are going to be uh, silver relay boxes. Yeah, they're going to have a little bit of silver in those guys, and if you're looking down here there's going to be some copper all along in these guys right here and they go all along here and all up and down there i'm not sure how hard they're going to be to get into uh, as far as the tape but they may just go in my copper bearing material i know you guys are seeing these right here these are actually a uh, mlc and this may have an ic chip right here i'm not sure i haven't cracked into those i know there's a process to get that off and i think it's the same process that you use to remove the conformal coating on these boards i have not got into that but we are definitely going to check it out and I know you guys are also seeing in the background these are gold pins yeah there's gold pins all over this board still and there's still more of these uh these inline resistor packs right here and these boxes are really uh i got a question about these boxes if you guys know what's inside of those boxes and please feel free to leave a comment down below because i've had uh these relay boxes come in black white orange green purple uh blue every color you can imagine but i've yet to actually crack open these guys and uh from what i've seen they may have some gold contacts in there and if they do that's super sweet uh what else you're gonna have a uh, uh, little diodes uh these are you know akin to an led they're gonna have a little gold wire inside of them um you're gonna have your aluminum capacitors all over this board make sure you take them off if you're gonna depopulate this with the heat process you're gonna find some more gold pins here here's some really big barbell shaped resistors uh sometimes those can and actually potentially have gold in the connectors on the ends of them i've ran across a few not many but they do exist and i don't these are going to have some copper inside i'm sure i have not cracked open any big ones like this uh recently as far as that goes in this style of board so i don't know but i'm willing to bet there is some copper to be had you're going to have a battery right here yep you're going to need to crack that guy off the reason why i say it's a battery is because you can see the positive on the in front of it right here and it looks like a battery and it stands out on the board so when something stands out on the board quite like that then uh, chances are it's going to be a battery or something like that you don't want that in your shop and if you're going to try to keep this board or something like that for a computer I know you're supposed to remove them this board I didn't care I know it hasn't been plugged in for years it's been sitting in the bottom of a bakery so let's uh start getting some of this stuff off I'm going to start with the the relay boxes and these end connectors because then after that we may choose a different way to depopulate this after we remove all them ic chips let me get all this stuff laid out for you and removed and uh, let's see what we can do about all the other smaller items as you guys can see all those little gold pins pulled right out of there they were left on the board so we're going to take our little nippers and we're going to nip all them guys off of there we're going to put them in the corner and we're going to continue on with this and we're going to move on to the silver relay boxes all right so there's those relay boxes they're a little different from uh silver relay boxes that you normally see it has one little dab of silver these guys are interesting. I don't know. If you guys know a little more about them, let me know. I know there's a few people that uh, know quite a bit about these uh, particular parts. And then when I went to go take off the black relays, what I thought were going to be relays off the bat when I seen them, actually there's these uh, glass barrel. Uh, I'm not sure. They have an ARV on the board. So I'm not sure what that stands for. I can look it up, but not in the middle of a video. So if you guys know what it is, why don't you just uh, drop a comment down below and let me know. Uh, they may have some secrets. They may have some gold. I don't know. But I'm going to take these Mylar capacitors. I call them Mylar capacitors because I've cracked them open and it just spools out and you have this long line of mylar and i don't know what's in there but i tell you what i keep them anyways and i put them right there um we're gonna get rid of those so we can get to these four boxes back there because i want to take those off nicely and crack them open and look with you guys yeah i broke one apart i may know already what's in there but you guys stick around to find out oh man sakes alive 
All right, guys, so next step is we're going to remove the removables. Well, you take these guys off. Uh, they're socketed. You can get them off with a little screwdriver. You pull them off, um, and then you have the EEPROMs. The e these are EEPROMs. They're going to be ceramic. You can look in that window, and you can see either gold or silver. Just because you don't see any gold doesn't mean there's not any in here. It just means there's less than what you would if you actually could see it. But these are ceramic, and they're going to go on my ceramic CPU process. What else? Make sure if you're going to sell this board, uh, just take off whatever you can remove as a removable leave everything else that belongs or you're not going to get your money for your board um, we're going to continue with these uh little mlcc packs here and we're going to keep just depopulating this board because we're going to bring it down to all these little guys right here because there's some uh ceramic disc capacitors they may even be potentially uh tan tantalum right there and there's stacks all over the place so it's going to take me a quick second to uh get all this stuff taken off but let's get this board we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. Okay, so we got everything off of here besides the little stuff and uh, IC chips. So let's get the IC chips off there, and I'm going to start picking all these resistors off of here really quick. I still don't know what's underneath those boxes, but hey, we're going to find out. All right, so here we are. Where do we start? Well, I left some of the pins in the boards. As you can see, the sockets for the IC chips and the connectors and everything else because those pins actually go all the way through the boards. And if you cut them off right at the edge of the boards, you're going to actually lose some gold by doing that. If you look right here, see how much gold is actually left behind in that, in that connector right there. So I'm going to do my heat process and uh, those through pins will pop right off like we did. I got a pizza oven. I put it in just like I use my little easy bake oven. But anyway, so that's going to have that process. Uh, I can't do nothing more with that tonight with there. But uh, let's go through all the spoils. I mean, there's actually quite a bit. Why don't you crack it down? Um, these are going to be all the different little capacitors. We got a lot of tantalum. I'm thinking they're tantalum. They're C on the board, and they look all funky. And uh, maybe if they're not tantalum, at least they're going to have some silver. And I know these guys are going to have some silver. These guys are going to have some silver for sure, and so are these guys. They were all capacitors. I think these are going to be film capacitors. I'm not sure, but I put them in their own little spot. And I think these are resistors. I'm not sure, but they look like a little uh, little doopy guy. Uh, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cute. I seen them on the board. They look like a little animal, and I was like, hey, what is that? Uh, if you guys know what this is, then uh, let me know drop a comment we got a couple more black guys over there and they're gonna be uh yours disc ceramic capacitors uh so those are the capacitors that were on the board there were a lot of them they were sprinkled everywhere okay what else do we got well we got these uh barrel style resistors here and diodes and a few other things so we got these resistors and we got the glass barrel uh resistors or diodes i don't know i just put them right there for now in their own little spot we got these guys we came across which we didn't really know what they were but i think they're going to be a bigger version of those uh we got these uh barbell resistors is what i call them that's what they look like uh, a lot of people say they don't have anything in them, but I tell you what, there's too many of them to throw away. And I think these are uh, like resistor arrays or something like that. They seem to be ceramic. I'm not sure if you guys want to let me know. Uh, and then we got some diodes and we got, uh, I think they're all diodes in there. Uh, pretty much they all had the same marking on the board. Uh, I'm not sure. I know this guy looks like a silver crystal oscillator, but so do these guys. I know they control the filtering of the high frequency when you have uh, power going through a telecom style board so it doesn't squeal in your ear when you're on the phone. Uh, if they are are all silver uh, uh, or, uh, silver crystal oscillators, then that's cool. That's a score. There's four of them. If not, then uh, let me know what I can do with them. We're going to have the IC chips. The IC chips are cool. Uh, a lot of people see them. You can see the inside of some of them. I cracked them open. You can see how all the wires array across that die in there. Now, that die is going to have some silver in there for sure, and it's probably going to have some gold. Uh, telecom equipment usually has a lot of gold in it, and that's super cool and it's super neat when you come across them. Don't pass them up. Look at all those legs. There's the legs that are going towards the center of the bond uh, dies. These are the bond wires. I say it wrong every time, but I don't care. And you can see the gold at the tip of them. That's right. It's there. It exists. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. These are uh, photosensitive diodes. They're going to be akin to that LED. They're all going to have a little whisker of gold inside of them. We're going to have a little hair of gold inside these three leg uh, transistor packs, resistor packs. Either way, they all kind of go on the same process for me. What else did we get? Well, we got that battery. Like I thought that there's going to be a battery. It stood out. It was kind of ugly. And you're like, hey, what does that look like? Well, yes, it's a battery. Uh, you don't want to keep them laying around the shop get rid of them i save them up bring them into my proper disposal place what else do we got well these are epoxy filled i'm not sure um i know i've seen a couple people i watch particularly on youtube that have a whole collection of them i think there's a little film inside there but hey i don't know if that's going to be gold legged or not because it's hard to see in there and then i was talking about these guys here and you're going to see that they'll have mlccs and a little uh, ic chip 
pack all done up inside there, I think I could put that through the process that we used to get rid of the conformal coating off the boards. And if you haven't seen how you get that green conformal coating off the board, go hit up my video for it. I just put it out. I'm not sure if this guy is going to be the same or not. It doesn't quite look the same, but hey, it may be one of these red guys right here, uh, just a different version. In fact, I'm going to put them over there with that. You got all these uh, capacitors right here. They're going to be little mini aluminum cans. That's right. You put them with your pop cans, talk to your yard, do your thing. Uh, my yard will let me bring them in as aluminum cans. You're going to have a uh, the mylar uh, style capacitors, I do believe is what they are. I crack them open, they look like a long piece of mylar that goes and you roll out and there's not much of nothing in the center of them. I'm not sure what they have, but I don't get rid of them. Uh, what else do we have? Well, we got a spoil of copper, little copper uh, transformers. Yeah, we got blue ones and red ones. It almost looks like uh, the gladiators in here. Yeah, if anybody ever used to watch that show, um, that's how old I am. Anyways, uh, yeah, they're neat. They're gonna be a little copper. You're gonna put them in your copper number two and that's gonna be sweet. These guys are epoxy filled transformers. You crack them open. Uh, there's going to have a little bit of a spool of copper inside of them. Correct me if I'm wrong. I've seen a lot of smaller versions of them, and I'm assuming that they're going to be the same because they took a lot of power for that board. I got two of them, and I'm going to crack those guys open. So now we got the... Uh, we got the uh, uh, so uh, the, the the relay boxes. Sorry, it's been a long video for me. I know it's only been a few minutes for you guys, but okay. So uh, I, I'm thinking that there's going to be some gold in those guys. I mean, every one of these guys looks potentially to have quite a bit of gold. I know you see the sh shiny copper, but there sure is gold inside of every one of those. And I will sit down and crack all those guys open and figure it out. I'm sure somebody here, especially one person in particular that I watch, uh, knows quite a bit about those. Uh, these guys here. Yeah, well, first off, I'm super excited about it. I had one crack open when I took it off the board and if you guys zoom in on those that's not just gold but that's a thick piece of gold wire they put on the end of those contacts so it is very thick actually it's not a gold finger it's not gold flashing but it's very thick gold uh, wire they take a little piece they solder it to the board and that's how they make the connections and there's four in each one of those boxes so that is super sweet and then you have the gold connection at the end let me see if i can get it zoomed in there there's more pieces of gold right there and those are actually very thick and very nice uh it's a good little score if you're a gold guy because those things aren't just flash they are very thick gold they're uh these pins these pins are actually super nice they don't go all the way down to the end of the pin they don't go through like the other pins on the board but hey they still are there and those are pretty decent looking pins a lot of them you'll see yes i have been corrected and it's not that i said that there's solid gold they're gold flash but hey it is free gold so i tell you what that board was super sweet super fun to take part and uh i hope you guys learned something here today and if you did make sure to hit that like share and subscribe and for all my subscribers let me know if you know any information about this stuff hey uh, this is how i learn i can't google stuff in the middle of a video and i appreciate all your guys's comments and we're pushing 800 still on week six and we're almost at 800 subs so thank you guys for making that possible i appreciate it so for my wife i love you and for my kids go wash your face